All right, so I got something new in to review. Let's check it out. So what we have here is the Joby Gorillapod 3K Pro Kit. So I do want to say a big shout out to Joby for sending me their new Gorillapod. And I'm actually pretty stoked about this because this Gorillapod should solve the problems that people have had with the Gorillapod kind of like, you know, compressing down under the weight. This one claims to hold 6.6 .6 pounds, so you should be able to put a pretty heavy rig on this. This seems super rigid and super hefty. It comes with a little ball head and a quick release plate right here. So there really is only one way to test something like this out. I guess I got a vlog. All right, so I'm here at a local skate park. He's with me with right now. My buddy Darren. What's up guys? That is pretty rigid. Yeah. Nice. So if you really want to test the weight of this thing, we have a phantom camera with us. We could totally try to mount up on this little thing. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Now I'm really curious. If that tiny little thing can hold a phantom, I'm like <laughs> legit surprised. Even with the grill. I mean, that might be six pounds. It's not falling over. It's not falling over. <laughs> Want to film with it for a minute? Let's do it. Let's get some tricks. <laughs> the 3K Pro. Yeah. Okay. Because it's three kilograms. Oh, yeah. okay. So I just wanted to point out that the average user probably isn't going to have a phantom camera put on their tiny little gorilla pod, but. You mean you don't, you don't vlog with this? That's not normal? Not really. We're like definitely putting a lot of stress on this just to see if it could actually perform in a pinch if this was the only tripod that we had. So this is what's normally supposed to be holding this camera up, but we have it just mounted on this Joby 3K Pro and All right, so it's been about a half an hour now that we've been filming with the Phantom camera and it still hasn't fallen over, which is really impressive. So I'm gonna get one more trick and then I think I'm gonna roll out. <sighs> okay, so we definitely put this Joby 3K Pro through its paces. We had a cinema camera with a lens and a rig on it that weighed about seven and a half pounds. And this Gorillapod is only said to support about 6.6 .6 pounds, but we tested it and it can definitely hold more than that. Obviously, most people who are buying a Gorillapod of this size are not gonna be putting a huge cinema camera on it. But that's definitely one of the things that a lot of people complain about with little Gorillapods like this, is that when you put a certain amount of weight on it, they start to just collapse in on themselves, which isn't really that good when you're trying to do a longer shot using it as a tripod. Using it as a selfie stick, I think it works totally fine. But when you start putting weight on it, that's when Gorilla Pods start to just collapse in on themselves. This one did not. And one thing that also impressed me was the ball head that Joby includes with this 3K Pro. This is actually a really good ball head. And looking at the video, you see that we had the phantom camera set up in such a weird precarious position where the ball head was actually holding a lot of the weight and it didn't move at all, which is crazy. So, I mean, this is a pretty straightforward product. If you ever had a Gorilla Pod before, there isn't really that much different with this one as far as just like the physical features. They're bendy tripod legs with a ball head on top. The quick release plate is Arca Swiss compatible, so I've added my own base plate here that works with my Benro S2 quick release plates, but yeah, it's a pretty straightforward little Gorilla Pod. And one thing that I noticed between this 3K Pro and the Joby Focus, I believe, that Darren had was the legs on this little guy were way more rigid than the Gorilla Pod that Darren had. And I don't know if they're gonna stay this rigid, 
three months in the future, but right now they are insanely rigid and kind of hard to bend in different shapes. But that's a good thing because that makes me feel more confident when I put heavier cameras on this little Gorilla Pod. So I'd say if you're a vlogger and you want a Gorilla Pod that's not gonna collapse under the weight of your camera and you can rely on and it's super well built, this Joby 3K Pro is definitely the way to go. But I definitely wanna thank Joby for sending me out this little Gorilla Pod. It was super fun to test out. And what you should probably do next is click right over here to check out some of my other videos. All the links are in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.